Hi guys, Rob here coming to you from the basement. So I've been trying to learn this lick from Sultans of Swing for the longest time and trying to get it clean and quick is really, really hard. Watched a bunch of videos and I saw a great video, um, I think it's called like An Evening with Mark Knopfler or something like that. Um, it's pretty recent, he, he's older, he's sitting down so you could definitely find it on YouTube and he's able to zoom in on his fingers. It really zooms in and you slow it down, you could see. And I've watched a number of the other videos and uh, this is what it is. So it's um, thumb, this is the E string. So we're on the 13th fret of the E string and it's a pull off to the 10th fret. And you're barring both the E and B strings at the same time with your index finger. And then it's thumb on the 10th fret of the B string. And then it's index finger 10th fret E string. So it's thumb 13 to 10 on the E string, 10 on the B string, and that's 10 on the E string. Slow again. Okay, then you continue to bar the E and B strings and you put your middle finger on the 11th fret of the B string. So instead of, it's and then you could go up, you move everything up by two frets. So you're now pulling off from 15 to 12, and this is 13. So you're here. Okay, slow again. He adds some things in there, so you have to uh, listen to the uh, to the studio version. But it's then it's the same. And when he moves up, he plays. So there's these two notes: B string, thirteenth fret, then twelfth fret, twelfth fret on the E string. So sorry, I'll do it again. Then when he starts again for the next phrase, it get it, it starts again with those two extra notes. And now it's tenth fret B string, and then it is tenth fret E string. Two extra notes and then that, that is thumb on 13 index finger 12th fret E string it's the same fingers playing the same notes as in the regular pattern See, I've tried other ways of playing it. I played it with these three fingers, and the problem was that I couldn't get the staccato, like uh, the, the notes were holding. So I was going just to get a quicker string. 
I was using these two. And the third. The problem with it is that you hear the, you can't hold these notes. It has to be, it has to be, right? So you've got to play them staccato. I find I want to play the way Mark Knopfler plays it. It works. If you look at the early videos from playing it, I think from the late 70s, there's another great video from playing in the late 70s where he's he's super young. <laughs> and he plays the first phrase like this, same. Then he doesn't bar these two. He puts his index finger on the E string and he goes. So he's not barring these two. You see his fingers, his, I guess it would be his left hand, I'm a lefty, uh, his fretting hand basically. His fingers are moving like crazy, he's going fast, so he's not barring the, the, the notes. He's not barring, barring them. But listen, that sounds clean. As opposed to, which is not, again, not wrong. I got my thing, my pinky going, but that's it. I suppose you just have to time it properly, so every time you pick a note, it doesn't become a, a hammer on. But you're picking the note. It's like playing the beginning of Thunderstruck. If you've ever played that, you know you have to pick the notes. <sighs> you know. Right, it has to be perfect timing. So, or Now here's the tricky part. It's getting it as fast as the uh, as recording, and that's really hard. So here I have a uh, the uh, background on YouTube, and it's a uh, backing track. So opens the swing backing track with vocals, and uh, I slowed it down to seventy five percent because I just can't play it a hundred percent. But here I'll put it on seventy five percent. Try it the other way. Etc. Etc. Uh, well, I can't just can't play it fast as fast as uh, as the album, and I'm gonna keep trying. Um, but it really just started off this every day. every day yeah. Yeah. to get it faster Work. so I'll keep posting I can't play it full speed yet and if I try it, I'll show you how bad it is. May as well show you what's bad, right? No, not bad. I can't do it. So I'm going to keep practicing. I'll keep posting. And 
Good luck with it. Keep trying. It's my life stream on my uh, deathbed. I'll finally get it right. When I'm like 90. It's almost there. Faster, faster. Faster. Yeah, almost. And then you feel like your hand's gonna fall off. Anyway, keep at it, guys. Take care.